You can just see over my left shoulder here some of these old tin signs that advertise the Isle of Man TT races. My dad was a big, big fan of motorcycling. In fact, many in our family over the years have been. And my dad always enjoyed going across to the Isle of Man TT every year. He used to book a, a little bungalow, I think it was, with some other men. And they would uh, spend the week there going to all of the events and all of the races. And something that my dad loved from he was a little boy, motorcycle racing. He used to talk about all the big names. John Surtees was his hero, uh, his childhood hero. That's John Surtees up there at the top there, the number three. I'm not sure what type of bike that is, uh, whether it's an Air Mackie or something. I'm just not exactly sure. Somebody might be able to put it in the comments section below if you know much about bikes. Uh, and then Jeff Duke and all of those guys as well. My dad loved uh, the Isle of Man TT. Also the Southern 100 and the Manx Grand Prix as well and all of the local races here as well. But the TT, uh, the two letters stand for the Tourist Trophy. The Isle of Man Tourist Trophy. It's touted as being the best road race in all the world. And certainly whenever I was a, a teenager, I used to always watch it on television or dad would have got the old VHS tapes at the end of the season and we'd have watched those together and uh, it's still a very big race, uh, even nowadays in 2022. And yet, sadly, in the year that's gone by, I think five uh, riders, motorcyclists and sidecar riders, lost their lives. So it's an extremely dangerous sport as well. But the tourist trophy, right around the island, everybody competing for the prize. And isn't that just like the Christian life? The Word of God describes the Christian life as being like onto a race. Now, it's not a sprint but it's a lengthy, lengthy race, and the child of God needs to pace themselves. Hebrews chapter 12 speaks about running with patience the race that is set before us. And in any race, there are many twists, many turns, many hills, many valleys, many dangers, many toils, and many snares. But the secret of success in the Christian life and the Christian race is to keep our eyes upon the Savior. Ivan Thompson, the great a Baptist pastor and evangelist, I remember listening to him years ago when he said shortly after his conversion, he was so afraid of faulting or faltering and failing and stumbling and falling as a Christian. He went to an old saint of God, an old man who was speaking at a meeting and he put his hand on this old man's shoulder who's being helped into the car by two other gentlemen and said, Sir, what's the secret of the Christian life? How can I succeed in the Christian life? He expected some great theological answer but that old saintly man simply quoted the verse of a hymn, O pilgrim, bound for the heavenly land, never lose sight of Jesus. And there are so many things that would call us away from the cross, away from the Savior. It's so easy to get our eyes off the Lord. And whenever that happens, it's danger. Whenever I did my first driving lesson, I remember the driving instructor parking the car at the side of a long road here in Lisbon, the Prince William Road, just down at the bottom of it. I don't even think Tesco's was there at the time. It was the old DOE site, and he parked the car there, and he just said, look as far as you can into the horizon, fix your eyes upon a point there, and then drive the car towards that. That'll keep you going in a straight line, and you'll see everything that's in front of you. And Jesus Christ is the goal and the prize for the Christian, the tourist trophy there's a trophy a prize laid up for every child of God for every Christian the apostle Paul writing to Timothy his last letter he wrote it from a prison cell in Rome in 2nd Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 4 says for I am now ready to be offered he knew that his martyrdom wasn't far away but he was ready he knew that as soon as he would close his eyes in death, he would open his eyes in glory. He had served the Lord well. I am now ready. Are you ready? Should the Lord call you? Are you ready just now? I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but also unto all them that love his appearing. Paul knew that he was going to receive a crown, a prize, not a corruptible crown that fades away, but an incorruptible crown, a crown 
of righteousness. That would be his prize. That would be his trophy. Seeing the Savior face to face. Getting that crown of righteousness. And hearing those words, well done, good and faithful servant. If you've started out in the Christian race, aim for this prize. Keep your eyes on the Savior. Endeavor to finish your course well. Don't get distracted. Don't get discouraged. Don't get sidelined. And look unto the Savior. God bless you, friends. Thank you so much for listening.